Have you tried anything other than paint on your canvas? Let's think outside the box and try some other materials. Hi there, I'm Janine, I'm an artist and I share my creative journey on this channel. I love mixing my materials and trying out new supplies, not just in paper, but also on canvas. Let me show you some of my favourite ones. First I've got these paint markers. I don't use them a lot, but I do enjoy it when I do. I've got a few brands, Liquitex, this one I bought empty and filled it with burnt sienna, and then I've got these Posca pens. They are the ones with the thick nibs, 8mm. This one has a 15mm nib and the Liquitex are also 15mm or you can use the thinner side which is 8mm. I want to add some more neutral colours on this canvas so I'll start with this unbleached titanium. You do often have to pump them to get the paint flowing which is a little bit difficult on a vertical canvas. What I really like them for is to add line work. With these large nibs you can also lay down more of a solid area. Let's try the Posca pen as well. This one is beige. The nibs clog up quite easily, so you need to be careful when you go over other materials like soft pastels. Quite like this light pink by Liquitex. Then I'll try this slate grey Posca pen, which is actually quite blue. Let's add some texture to these dark areas with it. I love using fluid paint, so I want to try some inks on here. I'm going to mix a few colours together in this container here. This is Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex, and I'll mix it with some of this System 3 Burnt Sienna to dull it down a little bit. Inks are always so intensely pigmented. I'm also going to mix in a little bit of water so it's not as intense. You can really see how vibrant it is and it also covers really well because that burnt sienna is quite opaque. Something I really enjoy doing with these more liquid paints is to spray some water first to wet the canvas and then go in with the paint so it bleeds a little bit. You can blend it way better if the surface is already wet. It's easier to do this on a flat surface though. Then I want to lighten the painting overall, so I'm going to add some white to this mixture. It's a bit more saturated than I want, so I'll add a tiny bit of this sepia by De La Rowney. I also want to mix a light blue. This is Prussian blue and I'll also add some white. I'm also adding some burnt sienna. Something I don't use very often, but would like to get into a little bit more, is coloured pencils. I've selected a couple of colours. These are Faber-Castell Polychromos, 
and this one is Burnt Sienna. I'm going to add some very subtle marks and line work with these. The canvas is kind of bouncy, so it does not show up as much as it would on a wood panel or on paper. The pencils are great for very subtle colour shifts if you go over a larger area. This area here is very bright, so I can change the colour very slightly by going over with the pencil. Next I'm going to use this brown ochre. You do have to fix them with fixative because they're sort of water soluble. The next thing I want to show you is my Neocolor 2 water soluble crayons. I'm going to use this light blue. I have a whole video showing how I like to use them, but one of my favorite ways is to use them on a wet surface. So I'm going to spray the surface with some water first. It helps the pigments stick to the canvas better and it also blends the edges a little. Of course you can also use them on a dry surface, they're very good for line work. If you like this video, consider subscribing. The next material I'm going to show you is actually fairly similar, at least in terms of how I use them. You've probably seen these in the kits section. They are the Stabilo Woodies. They're really chunky pencils and they're also water soluble. The color range is a little bit limited. They obviously come in all the bright kiddie colors. But I really like this more subtle peachy pink and I'll also use a brown. You can use them dry or like I've done with the Neo colors, use them on a wet surface. And you can also move them around with a wet brush and use them a bit like paint. Let's mix some complementary colours, this orange and blue. When you mix those with a brush, they turn into more of a neutral colour. I love the effect when you don't mix them completely, but you get a little bit of each colour still. Another supply you've seen me work with quite a lot is soft pastels. Let's start with this terracotta. These are all Jackson's own brand. Again, you can use these on a dry surface or also on a wet surface, which makes them look a little bit more intense. Once you fix them with a spray fixative, the colors will dull down a little. I especially love moving the pigment around with my fingers. And of course you can also draw lovely lines with them. There's one more material that I want to show you, which is charcoal, particularly this charcoal stick, which is a little bit less messy. I used to be obsessed with this, but I haven't actually used it in a while. The way I like to use them, you've probably guessed it, is on a wet surface. It just gives so much more depth to the line. You can even wet the charcoal stick itself, you simply dip it in water. If it's too much, you can wipe some of it away with a wet brush. If you want, you can now stay on for a bit longer to watch me work on this painting some more.
Mixing your materials is a lot of fun and it makes it so much easier to get more variety into your paintings. Where you need to be careful though is when you are layering oil-based products, like oil pastels for example, with acrylic. You can use them on top of acrylic, but don't layer over the top of your oil-based products with acrylic because it won't stick. So I would use those only in the final layers. What are your favourite materials to work with? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see me mix soft pastels and acrylics in my sketchbook, then you can watch my video that I've linked in the description box. Thanks and bye bye.